I think the tannery is a great place. It's not necessarily a place where you're going to get a lot of creative input in terms of your work, but it sort of inspires you because you see a lot of working artists. So it isn't as if we sit or, you know, I, it's not like Paris in the 1920s where people are going into cafes and, um, you know, generating new ideas. I think everybody does that on their own, at least the people that I know. But it's great to be in a place where everybody is a working artist, that they do their art as a big part of their life. So I think it inspires you that way. And then, you know, I think it's a great group of people. I mean, I like everybody. Artists are always known as a bit of, uh, have a bit of character. And I like living with that type of people. I like, I like that energy that's here with that. And then it's fun also associating with people that are outside the visual arts. You know, there's uh, dancers and there's uh, musicians. So that creativity that they bring in, I like as well. Sort of that, you know. My experience here has been a positive one in that I have this beautiful live workspace, much more square footage than I've ever been able to afford in Santa Cruz, a much cleaner, newer, um, environment for art making as well as living and um, I also feel living here has connected me more to the art scene the local art scene I've met many more people and I've been involved in many more shows since moving in here you know it's been real interesting living here at the tannery actually it's been a uh, dream come true I've wanted a live work space since I was my early 20s live in San Francisco for 13 years trying to realize that but by the time I got to San Francisco, everything was already starting to gentrify, including Oakland. Oakland. So um, having this space is pretty cool. I've got to know a lot of people, and um, some of my artwork are, is being influenced by those relationships. Um, and of course, living in a small community that lives in sh tight quarters, it's it has its challenges, but the, the benefits far outweigh the challenges, believe me. That's my experience. I sort of traded a garden and a country for um, immediate connection. And I was just telling somebody, you're in the hallway and somebody's carrying these dishes of food saying, come on over, there's way too much food. You know, I mean, it's always connection or as much as you want to have. Well, I really enjoy um you know the community and I really enjoy how that's you know developing and how people you know even though with all the things that are happening with people in their lives and their you know all their stuff um, people are still willing to interact and communicate and the more that people are willing to do that regardless of their situations you know people are um, you know you know reali realizing the truth of what we enjoy doing um, it's, it's, it's to communicate and um, realize that we're not separate as opposed to, you know, you know, we've been educated to feel that we are individuals and that we're isolated and everybody, it's a competition. And uh, this place, to me, represents community and people working together and that we're not separate. That's something that I feel very strongly about here. Well, the big difference I have living at the tannery than where I lived before is that I have space to paint. And I've been painting a lot more in my life right now. This year alone, I've painted at least over 30 paintings, oil paintings. And I've also started a series of uh, watercolors for a, a um, collaboration between a poet and myself. Well, I moved in right when it opened uh, about two years ago. So I've been here from the beginning. What do you think? It's been wonderful. It's a great space to be in. Uh, it's just what we need, just what we want. Uh, we're here in a two-bedroom. Uh, we've got a space which is rather unique. It runs parallel to the river and the building itself. Uh, so we get two banks of these incredible windows that go from floor to ceiling. And uh, we're in the midst of a community of creative people. And we're meeting people from the get-go and every day and every month. Uh, you get introduced to someone else, and it's a slow unfolding process. Um, and it's just getting better and better as the time goes on.